it's possible to sort of like replace my bones with like this polymer thing that makes me kind of like stretchy, like stretch Armstrong or something, you know, just in, just in case I need to have my arms and legs pulled by eight year olds. Hey guys, I'm V-Labs, this is the Technophiles Newscast, and uh, in the world of science, bone grafts are a kind of a tricky thing, and they've always been a little bit of a problem, but a group of uh, scientists at Northwestern University have actually come up with a solution, and that solution is hyper-elastic 3D printed bones. A group of material scientists at Northwestern University have created a interesting hybrid of a calcium found in bones and a polymer that allows it to be 3D printed and implanted in people's bodies and used as scaffolding to repair bone injuries. These structures are made with a mineral found in bones called hydroxypatite. Um, this mineral on its own is actually quite brittle, which is a problem when you're putting structures of just that in somebody's body is that it can get broken either in transport or inside there. It's not a good time. However, this mineral mixed with a polymer can be 3D printed and actually becomes quite flexible. When it's 3D printed into a shape, it can be folded, it can be twisted, it can be squished and squashed, and it will still go back to its original shape, which makes it easier to put into weird crevices in somebody's skull or in somebody's spine or their jaw. Um, it makes it a lot more comfortable and easy to put in there. And also you don't need sutures to put it in either. It can just simply be molded to fit into wherever it needs to go. Because this material is porous, it allows it to be a really good scaffold for new bone to grow and for blood vessels to grow. Uh, without blood vessels growing into an implant area, the surrounding tissue will die. And it's been proven that this is like a really good encourager for that kind of growth. The idea is that the scaffolding is put into place and because of that mineral, it kind of allows bone to grow into that area into all the little porous spots of that and regrows and becomes just as strong as the bone around it. In early tests of this, stem cells were placed inside of the uh, hyperelastic bone and uh, it actually started growing around it quite well within a matter of weeks and it actually started growing the bone material, kind of taking the hint from the hydroxypatite. Not only that, uh, it was also tested inside animals, uh, replacing uh, part of a missing spine in a rat and also uh, repairing a, um, a weak part of a Reese's monkey's skull without any kind of inflammation or infection. It was accepted quite well and they grew in just perfectly fine. Actually, one of these studies professors Ramil Shah, who is an assistant professor of material science at the Northwestern University, where this was published, um, said that she wants to start testing on humans in about five years. However, the sample of the experiments done so far on the animals is still quite small. They need more time to kind of get a larger, you know, sample of how well this is working and how it would be accepted in different situations. But things are looking, looking pretty good. There's a lot of benefits to having a very flexible uh, polymer graft being made um, because you can ship it more easily um, compared to other bone grafts which are more brittle um, and it can be stored in like a regular room temperature as opposed to other you know uh, biological bits that may need to be heavily refrigerated or frozen um, and they can just be they can be easily shipped from hospital to hospital not every hospital has a like biological 3D printer where they can put like bone minerals into polymers and have them printed for patients. Not every hospital has that kind of budget. So some hospitals which do have 3D printers and do have that kind of technology can print out whatever a patient from another hospital needs and ship it over there easy peasy and just out of the package prep it and put it inside them and start getting healthy again. So how far do you think this technology can go? Could it possibly regrow an entire limb or could you replace your arm with the weird stretchy polymer material? I don't know. Just let us know in the comments below what you think or you can tweet it at us at Technophiles Pod. You can also check us out on Facebook by searching Technophiles Podcast or go to our website at technophilespodcast.com. You can also check out our Patreon if you enjoy what you watch on this channel. Uh, you can toss a couple bucks in there and uh, there's some excellent rewards where you can give us your input and help be kind of a producer of the show. You should check it out and see what works for you. 
Hey everybody, if you enjoyed what you saw on this channel, you should check out some of our other stuff. Um, I actually did another video over here about Snapchat's new spectacle glasses, where they have a camera inside and they can record from 10 to 30 seconds of footage in a circular video. I get into that. You should talk about it. You, you should, well, you should. I talk about it. You should watch it. She was um, over here. We have the podcast. We talked about Elon Musk's plan to like colonize Mars with humans. Uh, it's a pretty ambitious plan, and we really get into it. It's a pretty exciting chat. We, we actually went a little long, but you'll learn a lot and have a few interesting ideas put into your brain pan thing. Yeah, uh, and if you want to have brain pan things put in your brain pan, you should just hit the subscribe button over here. And you can have videos pop up in your little subscription box a couple times every week. Isn't that nice? You should do that. Yeah.